so that we have so many dogwoods here um, available for the, the public to see all in one place is amazing. We're used to seeing one or two maybe in your front yard or backyard, but we have hundreds of them here. The dogwood forest here at the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden is really an unusual collection of dogwoods for uh, a couple reasons. Uh, number one would be the concentration of dogwoods. There are hundreds of dogwoods. Uh, not all the blooming, but as we'll see in a little bit, a lot of them are just in, in a beautiful state of bloom right now. Um, this land went through a lot of extraction of resources, uh, including it having been timbered completely twice, oil extraction, natural gas extraction, coal extraction, both deep mining and surface mining. So that we have so many native dogwoods that, that lasted all that. Uh, the, uh, the main display of the dogwood in the spring that everyone refers to when they say, oh, the dogwoods are blooming, are actually leaves on the trees. These are four leaves which surround the actual flower it is in the center. So if you come back to the dogwood meadow in late August into September and early October, you'll notice that it, where the center of the flower was that's now changed to uh, droops or seeds. And typically they're red in color, but as time progresses, they kind of look like a raisin on the tree. And different times you'll notice the, the birds here picking them off. It's a, a great food source for them, high in fat uh, and very low in sugar, but they enjoy it. And what I'm doing the census for is to find out how many trees uh, does the garden have um, that are the native dogwoods. So far in and around the dogwood meadow, I've tabulated 550. And about 200 of those are actually uh, blooming. When I was growing up, we had an I'll call it an iconic dogwood tree, which every year in May when that dogwood tree would bloom, we would remark, uh, the dogwood trees in bloom, and we would go down and pretty much visit it. And um, unfortunately, the tree died probably about 15 or 20 years ago. I think it was due to the anthracnose. And that tree is just uh, so firm in my um, early memories that I always loved dogwoods.